Hello, guys. We're sorting out old stuff with Sam. We don't play this game anymore. We should probably give it away. Wait, I, I need it! You've become a real shopaholic, Sammy. You buy everything you see. Why do you need mini bricks, for example? Well, I don't know. I'll build something. Uh, sometime. Sammy, I count to three. If you don't tell me what you're going to build, I'll give it to the garage sale. Wait, two! That wasn't the deal! One. Oh, wait! That's too fast! Give me at least a minute! Two. Wait! Pizza. Pizza? Are you gonna make pizza out of bricks? No, we'll build a mini oven for baking pizza. I've been meaning to do it for ages. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Let's get started right away. Hello again, guys. Today we're building a miniature pizza oven. Yippee! Mini oven. Let's experiment with small sizes. Right. Today everything will be mini sized. First, we should make mortar for the bricks. Can't we just put them on one another? <laughs> of course not. It's not enough because if I do this, it'll fall. Not a very reliable oven, do you agree? Yeah, you're right. So make some mortar really well. I'm going to check how it came out. We just take a little bit of mortar. It's better to use gloves not to get dirty. And now we connect the two bricks. Oh, look! It's leaking! We need to wipe it. Don't worry, Sammy. One move, whoosh, and it's clean. Done. Let's do the same with the other bricks. We need to put four bricks in length and four brick rows in height. Here's the last one. Now we'll see what the first row looks like. Two. This one seems broken. Can we use it? That's just what we need, Sammy. In the second and fourth rows, there will be half bricks on the edges. To make walls more secure, we don't put one brick directly on another, but one on two of them. See? Oh, now I see. I didn't know that, did you guys? Sue, so, you need some help. I understand how to lay bricks. Sure, together it's more fun <laughs> and faster. Look how fast we made it. That's what I call teamwork. We built two walls for our oven already. More fun to make crafts with friends. Call them over and build together. So it seems I got a little dirty. Do we have a napkin? Guys, now we're going to make a section for wooden chips. First, we attach one wall. Then the second on another side. Press a little, done. Why do we need styrofoam? It can easily break. We're making a base. Later, we'll pour some cement inside to make it solid. Oh, what to do? I can't figure it out. Oh. What's wrong, Sammy? You look troubled. I've been thinking for five minutes already. What pizza filling should we make? So that's your issue. Hmm. I vote for pepperoni. I love its smell. Mm. Pepperoni! Good. Phew! Now I have nothing to worry about. And lots of tomato sauce. By the way, guys, tell us about the tastiest pizza you've ever tried. I'm curious to know. I made the dough. What are you doing, Sue? Good job, Sammy. I'm making a frame for our base. Can you prepare the cement if you're not busy? Main thing is not to confuse the cement and grout mixture. Will do. The frame is almost ready. I just need to secure the intersections with little pieces of wire. This way they go into the styrofoam so easily. Look out! Oh, Sue, we need to fill it back. So the cement will set. Oh, not that fast, Sammy. It takes several hours for cement to set. Oh, my feta. So long. <laughs> Look, we need to pour all of the mixture into the basement. Don't leave a drop. I'm watching you. There's a little more. Thanks, my strict supervisor. Now let's spread the mixture with a trowel. This way. I feel like a real builder. Oh, no. We ruined everything, right? Look at Oh, it's okay, Sammy. We need these walls to shape our cement. When the cement sets, we'll get rid of them. It's time to smoothen out the surface. Can you do it? All right. Okay, so we put the level at one end and whoosh, whoosh, move it towards the other. Good job, partner. Right, guys? Finishing touches. How did it go, Sam? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Great. Let's leave the cement to set. We'll be back soon. Stay in touch. Guys, when the cement sets, you can take the styrofoam off. It's easy. That 
That's it. But now the base looks, well, not very pretty. That's why I prepared this. So, I also made the mortar. Perfect, Sammy. Let's spread some mortar for the first row. Isn't it cool that we didn't give this set away for a garage sale? Sammy, tell me the truth. Did you decide to make an oven spontaneously? It wasn't a long-term plan, was it? Well, maybe, but aren't we having fun? <laughs> yeah, hard to disagree. Guys, are you having fun with us? Give this video a thumbs up if you are. There's too much mortar, and the brickboards are set unevenly. Hmm, you're right. This won't do. We need to figure out how to fix it. Oh, so I've got an idea. Try to fix them with a hammer. Perfect! This will make them look neat. Here, we're going to make the same walls as below. There will be three rows instead of four. Yay! I like laying bricks. The next row is mine. Guys, here we need the same frame as we did for the lower level. Let's move on to the next step. Follow me! Looks great! But these bits of wire shouldn't stick out this way. We'll cut them with pliers. Here we go. Be careful with this step, guys. Now we're gonna build walls again. Hey, oh, the great Tibby Dabba! We didn't secure these bricks on purpose. I'll show you why. We'll make a frame here instead. At the moment, it all looks a little dirty. <laughs> Don't forget to get rid of the excess mortar with a trowel. This way. Sammy, where are you? I have a task for you. I just finished putting pepperoni on the pizza. What must I do? I'm ready! We need to cover it all with tiny bricks. Beautifully as you do it. Oh, I can do that. <clears throat> all right, here's a workshop from Sam the Builder. Put one brick horizontally. Then another one right next to it vertically. Continue until you feel the whole space. At the end, you should praise yourself. You're amazing. <laughs> Very informative, Sammy. I think I'll sign up for your next workshop. We're going to attach bricks following the cylinder shape. This way, we'll make an oval roof. So, let's compete in speed. Who will reach the top first? Deal. Let's see who's a better master. Who do you support, guys? Write the name of the winner in the comments. Let's go! And the winner is Sammy! Yeah! And on this happy note, we're moving on to the final stage. Guys, we're going to finish soon. The main stage is ahead of us. Pizza baking! Look how yummy it is. Makes your mouth water. The last brick. Done. Sammy, can you guess what we're missing? Uh, I think I can. We need a chimney. Bingo! Let's build it. <sighs> tisk tisk. Not good. I better finish this first. Okay, catch up. By the way, do you remember who enters your home through the chimney? Santa Claus! He'll be bringing us presents. I'm curious if he could fit into this tiny chimney. <laughs> of course! He's become small. He's a magician. You know I'm a magician too, right? That's my superpower. How's it going, Sammy? Ugh, I just do everything very fast. What do you say, Sue? I like it. The oven is so small and cute. We only need to apply the grout. And pizza's waiting for us. Pizza, yeah. Be careful. It's leaking already. Wipe off the excess. Thank you. Right on time. This way we'll cover all the junctures. I can speed up time too, by the way. I saw how Sue did it on the computer. Let's check the final result. And now we'll show you how to bake the tastiest pizza from Sam the Chef. Oh, 
crunchy crust and sweet pepperoni. What else can you dream of? Beautiful. I call the first piece. Sammy, I never thought I'd say this, but I can eat half of a pizza at once. Guys, I hope you liked our craft today. Sue and I loved it. Thanks for being with us, friends. Till the next video. Mmm. It's truly very delicious. Bye-bye, guys.